lecture I am going to discuss what how to install Beam on Windows. So here first we need to download. So in Google search box write there Beam. After that you need to click on this download. So here you can see Beam.org site. So this is about the Beam. So it's a free open source. Now click on this download link. Then after Vim that is available for Unix, Windows, Amiga, Mac, Macintosh and many more. So for Windows, uh, Windows 10, Windows 11 you need to click on this link. After that this place you can get here Vim. So this is executable file and this is now installer. So here you can select any of this any one of these tools. So let's click on this executable link. So gvim 8.2. The file size is 9 MB. Click on this download. The file is downloading now. So this is the way we can download the file. The next uh, I will show you the installation. So when installation uh, sorry when download complete click on this open and now you can get here installation wizard so you can select any of your favorite language so English that's fine click on ok next I accept next next no need to change anything click next and this location when going to install remember this path after that click on this install button so Vim is now installing here you can get the details so three uh, icon that's created so gvim easy 8.2 this is for read and gvim here after that click on this uncheck finish so now you need to click on gvim 8.2 and you can get this one okay after that or uh, this place you can't write anything hello so first okay so first you need to press i i press then you can see insert that is enable after that you can write anything whatever you want so hello world then after how are you after that you need to save that so you need to save that so for this one let's click exact after that colon then here w and give the file name so test dot txt okay so press enter the file that is now test dot txt the name that changed after that here you can uh, save and click on this desktop and after that uh, here on the desktops let's give the uh, so for text file you need to give the extension dot txt click on this save the file that save on the desktop and here you can see the contents inside there after that the next is let's close that now you can use this vim on the command prompt so if I write here on the command prompt cmd and if I write here vim so I'm getting this message vim is not recognized external or internal command so first I'm going to set the path so vim install c program files then after here you can see vim 8.2 okay so now you can see here gvim okay so this location you need to copy this so till this location you need to copy and uh, after that here you need to search edit so system environment variable you need to click that here environment variable go to path then after here you can click on add it new paste ok 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 after that you need to just close that 
and again open the command prompt so if you write here vim then you can see you can now use the vim on the command prompt so first uh, here you can see insert that is disable so press i after that you can insert anything like j j whatever you want okay after that uh, you need to save because here no name is there so for save first press exact then after colon then w and give the file name so this time giving t dot c s v press enter then here the file that save with the t dot c s v okay so this is the uh, way now so for uh, uh, quit so here you can see just press exact once again colon and uh, here if I write exit so this is exit from the win and now control back to this position so this is the way we can install vim on the windows operating system after that you can do some inserting on using pims and create the files and use the vim inside command prompt so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you